Ellie Kiyoko in the studio, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? I'm so great. Thanks for having me. You know, a little while ago, we were just talking. I mentioned the fact Twitter, because sometimes there's all there's the bios and the normal things that you get mm-hmm. when you get to know somebody. But I wasn't even looking, and it just happened to come across the screen, and it goes, Ellie Kiyoko, verified, and it says, I'm not high. It's my face. <laughs> Yes. And I said, I want to meet this woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? So Thank you. I'm so glad that I captured your attention. No, real talk. <laughs> but I will, you, do get, you get that a lot from people? Oh, my it, God. I get it all the time. People are, I like will post a photo of me and I think it looks good. And people will be like, you high. Nah. No. You high AF. And I'm like, um, I'm not, though. It's just my face. <laughs> it, no, it literally is. Like, right, right. I'm just... I guess I'm just relaxed. I'm very chill. Yep. I'm maybe tired all the time. I do have food comas a lot. I tend to eat a lot of food and then I get very relaxed, but um, people think I'm high all the time. So I'm just like, I have to like put that out there because it's like, you know, right. they think I'm blazing. Well, no, it's good because especially for people that are trying to get to know you that may not yeah. know you and yeah. be curious because people might be curious to know who you are, totally. what Curious is, the brand new single, and that's mm-hmm. why you're here today. I mean, first and foremost, thank you. Welcome back to San Diego because I'm sure there's been plenty of times you've been in San Diego. Yes. Um, you're like up the freeway, L.A., Agora Hills and whatnot. Totally. So now you're back. You're going to be back because you're brand new, you know, single, the album expectations mm-hmm kicking off everything at the observatory Mm -hmm. so with the single though let's let's start off with that because there are going to be people that don't know you Uh, you have a fan base already we already know where that's from but musically and this particular single break it down i mean just a song like what it's what's it's about right i i know because i've seen the video yeah so if there are people that don't know I mean, the video, the video, and the, the video kind of tackles the whole concept of just like people playing games and learning when to respect yourself and kind of walk away from those games. You know, like games right. are fun, but like you got to walk away at some point when it's your yourself starts to get like disrespected. Um, and then, as far as the song is concerned, um, you know, it touches on that fact of just like dating around and thinking you're into someone and they're into you but then it's like are you still are you doing that same thing with someone else and like what's going on and kind of tackling like i'm just curious is it serious um and i'm constantly hanging out with girls that are playing games i just tend to do that all the time (laughs) right so yeah but okay love is a beautiful thing and we all know that because when you kind of get involved in a relationship period there's, you know, that, that cloud factor. Right. And then all it's of like, a sudden, where are we at? Right? Where are we at? Where are you at? Yeah. And then you get into that relationship. It's going well, like you yeah. said. And then you're trying to figure out, curious, so how is it? How is it? But sometimes I've said this, or someone said this to me, games perpetuate games, right? Mm-hmm. So you're talking about self-respect. What kind of games do you not like? Because, you I know, just like communication. So I'm very direct. So I'll be like, Hey, I'm Haley. I like you. What's up? Right. You know? And so a lot of the times when you do that, people are like, ah! you know, right. they just like, they don't want to like say anything or they'll be coy and not say anything or they'll do something and their actions and words don't match. Right. And so that's what I don't like. I like when actions and words match um, and I like communication. So I don't, I don't like games that don't involve communication. Have you ever had that perfect kind of relationship early on or? I've had, yeah, I've had one good, healthy relationship where I was like, this is good. Um, But but I strive for better. (laughs) I strive for the best as we all do. We all want validation and um, love and, you know, and fun. So you ever catch yourself though contradicting those kind of values because when it, when you we talk I'm about I'm not saying I'm perfect. Right. Cuz I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm perfect. And then like what, what you ever catch yourself like trolling like, <laughs> you know You give me that. You're no, like, but I'm not I'm not saying I know I'm just, you're trolling. Because you know, when I think about the the song, mm-hmm. the music, mm-hmm. we look at the video. Yeah. It starts off great. Yeah. And then 
I remember watching a, a fan reaction. This uh-huh. one girl, one of your fans. What'd she, she was, do? What'd she do? What happened? It was from beginning. She was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Queen, 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 <laughs> queen, queen. And she's talking about, you know, everything about her life, the sexuality. Mm-hmm. Because there's a theme. Like, mm-hmm. when you watch your videos, there is straight up. Yeah. It's like sexuality is prevalent. And it's, a, mm-hmm. it's an amazing thing because you're, you know, some people might look at you as a positive role model for like the lgbt community mm-hmm. so and so forth. You're, you're you're not afraid to kind of you know talk about it and so on and so mm-hmm. forth but that girl she was like oh my god you know the scene where the girl's getting out of the car mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden there's the hand brushing oh yeah that's, right that's rough right that's a rough moment yeah and all of a sudden at the very end you go straight to the point where you guys are like kissing yeah and then it's like damn it's like you walk away like damn see ya <laughs> I'm like, damn, that's brutal. See, that's what I was saying. Games perpetuate games, you know. And well, so that music video was like, I definitely wanted to have fun with right, that right. video. Like Tongue that was cheek, definitely, you yeah, it definitely was kind of one of those things where I was like, okay, you can't, you can't do these, you can't be playing these games with me, and like kind of getting back. It was like a little bit of getting back, sure, at her for sure. Um, I'm not promoting that, right? Right. <laughs> means, but has it happened? But it's a um, yeah, That's part it's of the treatment. Happened. Oh of yeah, the video. <laughs> everything that I do is inspired by true life right, events, a hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right, Haley Kiyoko. That's what you're trying to get at. Yeah, yeah. you know, just kind of delving into the mind of Haley, Haley Kiyoko. Now, again, the brand new single we all know in, in the video too. But let's talk about everything that's happening with the tour too, because you're going to be back here in San Diego. I know. I'm so excited. In a matter of weeks. I know. It's going to be, I'm playing at the observatory and um, it's going to be so fun. I can't wait. And then fast forward even more so. I mean, how does it feel to be a part of like a big tour? Well, not a tour, but uh, mm-hmm. Coachella. Yeah. I'm, you know? Yeah. I'm really excited about Coachella. I've jumped about playing Coachella since I was 13. So it's going to be my like, first like really, really big festival. Um, trying not to get too nervous about it. Sure, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm playing on Sunday, so both weekends. So it'll be it'll be nice to kind of have that in between the tour. Um, and I'm just really excited for my album to be out and share the rest of the music. I'm really excited about Curious, obviously, but there's just so much more music that people right. haven't heard yet. And also, like you said, like I have my fan base, but I'm still new and right. um, being introduced to new people. So it's a very exciting time and to be able to share my perspective on life and my art um, and my videos and, um, you know, to have fun. As it's kind of new, do you kind of get overwhelmed with like watching your fan videos on YouTube and people are like, you know, talking about you and like, there are a lot of positive things that people say like, oh my God, this girl is like speaking for me or this, that, mm-hmm. and the other. And do you feel like you have to be this, this role model and whatnot or? I don't feel like I have to be anything. I feel like when I watch these really positive um, reactions, it's just, it feels very supportive. Like I feel, I feel like I can be myself. I don't go, oh, well now I have to be something. It's like, no, it's like now I can continue to be myself and continue to do the art that I want to do that I've always wanted to express and sing about girls and create these color palettes and direct my videos and and uh, perform and I'm, you know, I'm still just like a kid, you know, wanting to chase my dreams. And this is my first tour with a tour bus. And like, this is a dream just talking with you and going to these radio stations. And so none of this is like, um, I'm still very like grounded and and humbled by like literally every single thing that's happening. Cause this is, this is something that we've been working towards my whole life. Like my fans, they funded my first EP in 2013 so this is like a big yeah. momentum builder and to get to this debut album is like huge um for for all of us so it's very exciting it's awesome and it's very touching to be able to share that with people and watch people grow and myself grow because it's um i definitely had no idea i would be where i'm at now back then um, absolutely yeah now kind of having fun because i did this a while back with an artist do you have your phone with you I do somewhere. Let's do it. What are we doing? We're just playing gonna, a game. Your your search engine. Okay. Tell us the last five things you searched. Well, the first thing that's showing up is chownow.com from from a Thai restaurant. Did you order anything 
Yeah, I ordered uh, Padwoon Sen and yellow curry. Interesting. Is that okay? No, that's a. I mean, no, for me, it's I cool. I also have sangria recipes from allrecipes.com. There's obviously a recurring theme that I love food. And alcohol. Well, <laughs> no, here's the thing. I'm right? an amazing bartender. Nice. All right. Like, see. this is like a secret. Well, it's not secret anymore, but like, I am great at making drinks. Yeah. So I'm basically a mixologist without a license. There you go. So like my friends, when they have parties, I make drinks. I think I just looked up like different types of sangrias. All right. So there's that. That's two. What about number three? Debbie Reynolds class. Like um, it's like a dance studio in Los Angeles. All right. So it's probably. You're an amazing dancer, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, bar method. It's like a, a, a fitness thing. Do you know what that is? I it's do kind not. of like, it's like a kind of bougie. It's like, <laughs> it's like, honestly, you should really just go to the gym and sweat it out. But like, you just like, you like barely move and like up, down, up, down. And you've got like two pound weights. And right. it's like to try to really like tone your muscles. Yeah. I don't know. I never really go, but it's, I've, if you search it in your search engine, okay. it makes you feel like you've exercised. <laughs> so... Right. It's kind of Mind like over the matter. same there you thing. Go. What is this? I don't know what this is. And this is some random like film website. So basically my life is really boring. That's the that's the consensus. Oh, and then my own website. How selfish is that? No, not that's at all. Really, that's really selfish. What else do I have? Um, oh, I searched Kauai, Hawaii because okay. I was in Kauai last week. How many are we doing? Oh, and Let's Gu do one more. Gucci. Gucci. Do you know that brand? Of course. Have you heard of it? Yes. <laughs> um, I'm just more interested small, in alcohol part. It's this small independent like brand. And, um, you know, it's for it's a, like saving money. Okay. When you're like really like, you know, struggling. There you go. You go there. So. I'm curious. I'm curious about Haley Kiyoko. And that's why she's here today. <laughs> I appreciate you stopping by. I mean, I, I think, appreciate you again for people that don't know you. We've delved into the minds. When I mentioned the alcohol thing, because you had said something also in an interview or what could have been your bio mm -hmm. talking about how you love tequila. So that's why I was thinking <laughs> there was going to be this multitude of like different, different tequila. Liqueurs. I do love tequila. Yeah. Right. I've always wanted to go to like a tequila tasting bar, but I can't drink too much because, you know, I'm Asian. Like I can't do that. <laughs> All you right. Know? We get don't have that problem, but you don't I, have that problem. I don't. Your face doesn't turn red. Only under lights because I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> you know what I mean, and that's me being real. I'm like, dude, it's warm in here. No, but I seriously though, we've, we've got to know you. And again, you're going to be back here in the next what, couple weeks yes. at the observatory. So appreciate you. Any, anything you don't want to you know tell San Diego? That I love words? you guys, and so excited. Um, I don't know. It's a really exciting time. So thanks so much for supporting me. 90, you know. There it is. Cool. I'm pumped. Thanks, Trey.